It's a very important uh, question. So when uh, would I advise surgery in a, a glaucoma patient? And of course, it's not so easy. And of course, uh, the glaucoma blindness, the major uh, uh, factor to consider is the severity on one side and the life expectancy on the other side. The major goal of surgery is uh, mainly the patient to maintain the patient's usual function and the quality of uh, life with uh, sustainable cost. And uh, trabeculectomy, of course, this is a gold standard uh, surgical uh, technique uh, even now for uh, glaucoma. It's indicated in case of uncontrolled intraocular pressure on maximum tolerated medical therapy in the presence of significant optic disc and uh, visual field changes. This is very easy to uh, say, so it sounds very simple. But there is a little lot more uh, in this because not uh, there are so many things we have to look into uh, to uh, decide about the when to uh, do surgery. And of course, what are the other things we have to uh, take into consideration? Uh, how does one define intraocular pressure control? Because it's not, uh, it's uh, depending upon the uh, the stage of the disease and uh, the progression, etc. And of course, what are the chances of success of the surgery in a particular uh, uh, situation, the patient? And what are the operative risks? It's not uh, uh, same for all uh, uh, patients. And what are the risks of not operating for the case under consideration? And of course, and more generally, what are the arguments of early surgery? Some people, they advocate uh, uh, the surgery at the early stage itself. And uh, what type of surgery? Because previously, we used to do trabeculectomy only. But nowadays, you know, there are so many other things uh, come into picture. There is uh, non-penetrating and uh, minimally invasive glaucoma surgery, shunt and uh, all these uh, procedures. And of course, what are the role of uh, ALT previously? Now, of course, SLT uh, into the this therapeutic uh, regimen. And then, of course, the question are uh, all these questions should be analyzed with the specific goal of making a rational decision for the patient at the hand. And also, as I see, likely rate of uh, progression that's very, very uh, important, and this is a very important factor to determine the target pressure and the treatment. Uh, option of course to come to treat and is of course intraocular pressure and this is a very well known all of you know very well about this uh, landmark trial in glaucoma according to uh, advanced glaucoma intervention study which compare uh, about the ALT versus surgery yes, uh, the surgery works better in uh, white and uh, uh, the laser works better in uh, uh, white yes, uh, uh, blacks and of course the surgery has got little more complications than the uh, this one and also the collaborative initial uh, glaucoma treatment uh, thing is uh, medical versus uh, surgical uh, treatment both uh, surgery both the treatment equally effective but uh, uh, the uh, complications are little uh, greater in surgical uh, uh, group than the medical uh, group and uh, this is the one thing we have to keep, uh, uh, see in all cases of uh, uh, glaucoma, uh, starting from uh, uh, our uh, life expectancy of the patient and the additional risk factors, especially myopes or uh, diabetes and other any other uh, local uh, system, um, problems. And the patient preferences. Some patients, you know, they even with the very high endocrine, they are not uh, uh, bothered to use three or four drops. And also the status of the other eye, what's the course of the other eye, you suppose you have done any surgery, was uh, had any complications or whether had a very good control of intraocular pressure. And also the advanced initial uh, glaucoma damage and uh, the rate of progression. All these things are we have to keep in mind. And any surgery, you know, is any management option in glaucoma, we have to follow certain rules. And of course, make sure the patient needs, first make sure the patient is having glaucoma or not. Uh, I thank uh, Kiran for uh, emphasizing on so many things, especially the column of the uh, disc. I have seen cases, uh, column of the disc operated uh, for uh, uh, glaucoma, trabeculectomy. So a careful evaluation of the optic disc is very, very important. And of course, you have to uh, look into the other uh, things like uh, systemic health and uh, whether patients are on any systemic medication, consider the cost, especially in our country. 
and do not try uh, new or uh, rare surgical procedure which you don't have much uh, experience and also when possible avoid interrupting a stable course this is one thing i want to emphasize is uh, suppose patient everything is normal and uh, this patient is with the treatment of some other ophthalmologist and the patient come to us. So what we'll do immediately, we'll change the medications. So we should not do like, suppose the patient is happy and intraocular pressure is well under control, there is not much of a change in the uh, uh, discharge and the visual field change. Better not to interrupt the uh, course of the disease with the uh, treatment. And a good counseling is of course very, very important, especially when you are planning for a surgery in a case, you know, a good counseling about the disease and what will be the outcome for the outcome of the surgery because the patient expectation will be very very uh, uh, high because they may think that uh, is almost uh, similar to cataract so uh, they may not be uh, uh, the, the think to pay any amount of money what you ask but the what we are going to give you are not big, your surgery is mainly to reduce intraocular pressure, not to improve the uh, sight of the patient. And there too, especially when you do surgery in you know, immediate post-operative period, there will, there will be some amount of visual reduction will be there. So there are all these things we have to explain to the patient so that the patient will make up their mind to prepare to uh, foresee the, all these uh, problems. And also what are the potential side effects that do not foresee patient in any time better not to for patients should demand the surgery we have to tell all the consequences and then the patient should himself demand the surgery then of course tuberculosis advantages it has got certain advantages like no need for medication and uh, improved quality of life because uh, medical treatment is not there you make economical but it's not so in most of the situations because it may fail we cannot give guarantee you may have done a good surgery in the table but the next day you can see uh, shallow chamber or other problems or the later on the blood may go for failure and the complications so many immediate and post late and complications and uh, lifelong follow-up and of course we are doing a lot of things with the mitomycin and uh, so this can produce late to maculopathy or all other uh, things. So what are the factors to be considered uh, the indication of the surgery based on the magnitude and the duration of the pressure elevation and the extent of the uh, visual field progression and the optic nerve damage and the patient own sense of visual function. That's very, very, uh, we have to ask for the visual related quality of life, how their day-to-day -day activities are uh, impairing any uh, of their function, day-to-day -day function, and course of the contralateral life, as I already mentioned, and also general health and life expectancy. So we may be dealing with a patient with 85 years and 35 years. So 85 years, how to uh, handle, how to manage glaucoma and 35. So in 85 years, we not be very aggressive when we need not uh, dump all the medications and 35 we should be little more uh, aggressive and also other factors like uh, the uh, type of glaucoma as I mentioned to socioeconomic factor and uh, tolerance to medical therapy and uh, response to uh, treatment and uh, of course the patient uh, side awareness about the disease and the systemic illness and uh, prognosis uh, non-surgical treatment uh, like uh, all these uh, things and of course to conclude the indications for the anti-glaucoma surgery in any given case is uh, a long list uh, being taken into consideration about the, the previous uh, factors. These things are more important than uncontrolled intraocular pressure. The post patient is able to use the drug but the intraocular pressure is not uh, coming to uh, normal level or desirable target uh, pressure level and the poor complaint. Patient is uh, 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 very poor in that he is not regular in using the drops or we may have a patient who is a good compliment but he is not able to tolerate the uh, medical treatment because of the side effects because we have seen uh, so many side effects uh, with the, all these uh, medications and the primary surgery of course suppose this depends upon the patient we have to talk to the patient and this is most even now you do primary surgery and patient those who are coming from a very rural uh, long distance those who cannot uh, uh, come for the uh, frequent follow-up and uh, poor focus economic conditions all these conditions we can go for uh, primary surgery keeping in mind that we have to tell everything to the patients and if there is any systemic contraindication to the medical treatment we can go for the uh, surgery and also the uh, so 
keeping all this in mind, you know, we have to uh, decide on individual basis which patient need uh, treatment. And second thing is whether what type of surgery you want to do. That also depends upon the our clinical experience, the expertise and surgical skill because nowadays some of us are doing non-penetrating like uh, canaloplasty or uh, uh, this even uh, expression or uh, eye stand. Eye stand is not yet uh, commonly done, but some people are doing. But this again depends upon the uh, type of glaucoma and especially the progression, how the rate of progression, how the disease progress is very slowly progressing or very, uh, very fast. Then depending upon that, we have to uh, tailor our uh, uh, surgical uh, treatment uh, for that uh, patient in uh, question. Thank you very much.